Harry's disappointment as Invictus appoints Kensington Baron Allen as new chairman. In a move that has sent shockwaves through the British royal family and cast a shadow over Prince Harry's future endeavours, the Invictus Games Foundation has named Lord Allen of Kensington as its new chairman. This decision effectively cuts Prince Harry out of a central role in the organization he co-founded, raising questions about his ongoing involvement and the future direction of the Invictus Games. Before we continue please subscribe and turn on your notification for latest updates about the British royal family. This unexpected development comes after months of speculation surrounding the Sussexes' relationship with the royal family and their philanthropic efforts. Many royal watchers have pointed to a growing rift between Harry and his brother, Prince William, with tensions reportedly escalating after Harry and Meghan Markle's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. The Invictus Games, established by Prince Harry in 2014, have become a global phenomenon, celebrating the resilience of wounded, injured, and sick service personnel and veterans through international sporting events. The Games have garnered immense respect and admiration, with Prince Harry's dedication and passionate driving force behind their success. Lord Allen of Kensington's appointment as chairman has sparked a firestorm of controversy. While the Invictus Games Foundation has praised Lord Allen's extensive experience in the business and philanthropic sectors, many see this move as a deliberate sidelining of Prince Harry. Questions abound about the reasons behind this decision. Was it a business decision, aiming to leverage Lord Allen's connections and resources to expand the Invictus Games reach? Or was it a more pointed move by the royal family, seeking to distance themselves from Harry and Meghan after their public pronouncements? The timing of this decision is particularly curious. It comes just months before the 2023 Invictus Games, scheduled to be held in Dusseldorf, Germany. Harry has long been a vocal advocate for the Games and a source of inspiration for participating veterans. His absence from a central leadership role is bound to raise eyebrows and potentially dampen the overall morale and spirit of the event. This development also raises concerns about the future of the Invictus Games. Will they retain their unique character and focus on the well-being of veterans, or will they become more commercialized under new leadership? Only time will tell but the Sussex's influence on the Invictus Games appears to be significantly diminished. The fallout from this decision is sure to be significant. Prince Harry's dedication to the Invictus Games has been undeniable. His personal connection to the military and his own experiences likely fueled his passion for the cause. It remains to be seen how he will react to this perceived snub and whether he will choose to remain involved with the organization in a lesser capacity. The British royal family, already grappling with the fallout of the Sussexes' interview and their subsequent departure from royal duties, now faces another public relations crisis. The decision to sideline Prince Harry in the Invictus Games is sure to be met with criticism and accusations of disloyalty. How the royal family navigates this situation will be closely watched, with potential implications for their relationship with the public and the future of the monarchy itself. One thing is certain, the Invictus Games are at a crossroads. The organization's core values and its commitment to veterans are paramount. Whether this new leadership can maintain the spirit and legacy established by Prince Harry is a question that only time will answer. 